Hi everybody, ever seen one of these? It's a sand wheel. I've never seen it before. I was gobsmacked when I saw this a couple of days ago. Now, people often ask me where I get inspiration from. Well, absolutely everywhere. I mean, normally you would think about that as a child's toy and not think about it anymore. But seriously, inspiration, you're tripping up with, over it all of the time. Luke was in Devon recently and he picked up something while he was down there. Now, I won't steal his thunder because I think it's a great idea and he's going to do a video on this idea so skip along to his channel and check that out in a couple of days because he's had this inspirational idea from something he just well basically tripped over while on holidays and that's the way I see these things inspiration is absolutely everywhere and if you look at a sand wheel it's got a few things about it that make it really really interesting the first thing is and here is an astounding statement it runs off this stuff, sand, and the sand is made to flow through it like water. I mean, I feel I'm telling you how this okay, because uh, who doesn't know how a sand wheel works? Well, I didn't, because of course I'd never seen one until a couple of days ago. But the sand, it flows like water. It's pretty impressive if you think about it, because of course a water wheel is a primary source of power that's been around for millennia. Now everybody's interested in gravity batteries, which to be honest are little more than pulling rocks up a hill. And you can think of um, hydropower, pumped hydro as a gravity battery, or dropping a rock as a gravity battery. And it seems to me that the use of sand is kind of halfway between a water wheel and a gravity battery. And I don't know of anybody else doing it, but I looked at the sand wheel and I thought, that would be a great thing to look at to see if we can turn that into a gravity sand battery generator, water wheel, whatever you want to call it. It would be a really interesting thing to look at because your only issue is getting the sand up to the top again before you drop it. But of course you've got that issue with pump hydro, you've got that issue with gravity batteries, the rocks on a hill, and we'd have that with sand. But sand is going to be more dense than water, so it's going to contain more power, and I can think of several ways to get it up the hill, if you like, before bringing it back down to generate. And of course sand isn't like water, it will flow like water, but it doesn't go absolutely everywhere, so you can reuse and reuse and reuse the same sand and so you're effectively building a water wheel in your own home that can function and be infinitely usable and just excited me and interested me in that idea so of course I turned to Tinkercad and this is what I came up with and you can see there's only four parts the red bit's the cradle this bit here with all the spoons on it is the sand wheel itself, then we've got a flywheel and there are some holes in there to take magnets and then we've got this unfortunately shaped thing which is the sand holder. I didn't deliberately design it like that, it just came out looking like that which makes me think thank god that's not in red. But let's get that whole print thing printed off. Now uh, a lot of you have been asking me about these STL files. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make this one public on Tinkercad. And you can see it's called Sandwheel Generator Version 1. I'll make that public and if you want the STL files just go to Tinkercad and you'll be able to get them. Okay, so there. there are the four parts printed out. There's my wheel, there's my actual sand catcher device. That's just the bit that holds it all together and then our unfortunate bit that holds the sand. That bit goes in there. We fill that with sand, it dribbles out of a 4 mil hole, and obviously that goes in the centre, and that goes on the end like that, and spins a load of magnets. Got a bit of 8 mil bar, it's 100 mil long to stick through the centre, and I put a couple of bearings in there. The only thing we're really missing are the magnets to go around the edge, and I have these. My friend Dan, Dan Colhoun sent these, I think there's about a million of them, and they're all N52s. And he said, I'm sure you'll find a use for them, Rob. And he's quite right, I will find a use for them. So thank you very much for that, Dan. That is incredibly generous of you to send those, and really very grateful for them. Thanks again. We're going to use them now in here. And you can see I've put a lot of indentations to take these. These are uh, one centimetre by two millimetre, and this will take two each. So I'll put them all around the edge here, and then we can fix that together, and we're ready to go. Okay, somewhat surprisingly, that actually works. Now we're spinning those magnets, and of course we're using the sand to do that, so that sand can be seen as a store of energy. It is in fact a battery to run this. If I hold a coil up against those magnets, of course we're going to generate. 
and we have our output reading right here. And we're getting about a volt out of that open circuit voltage. That's kind of impressive if you think about it for a kid's toy. It's hypnotic. <laughs> okay, I thought that was awesome actually. Because remember that changes the sand into a battery. What's in here is now a battery because it leaks out Whizzes that around, open circuit voltage, we get about a volt out of it. There's a lot to do with this because um, I printed it off and I haven't done things like put spaces in there. So that will actually move backwards and forwards a little bit and that's not very good. We want to do something like that. We've got it at that slow dribble out rate so we get about a volt or so out of it. Maybe we want it more powerful in which case this 4mm hole should be bigger and these buckets should be bigger so it can take more mass. The more mass we put there then the quicker and stronger that's going to turn the more it's going to generate. So there are things to do with this. Now I have made the Tinkercad file publicly available so if you go to Tinkercad and look up sand wheel generator version 1 by Robert Murray Smith you'll find this file and you can download the STLs, you can uh, play with it if you want and see what you can come up with. I would hope that you would share it because that would be excellent but of course anything I do on YouTube is open source and free for use and anybody can do whatever they want with it because something like this would make a brilliant mobile phone charger. That would be an awesome product, I think. Anyway, that's my effort at a, a kid's toy into an actual thing that will do some work. And like I say, when you're looking for inspiration, well, it's all around you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. And please do remember to like and subscribe.